Hey everyone, I'm Matt Brightman, and I'm joined today by Dan B. Lee. We're both product managers on the Google Maps platform team. And today, we're excited to share our latest product announcements launched a few weeks ago at Google I.O. in Mountain View. Today, we'll also introduce you to Nishant Fadnis, Chief Product Officer at Rent, who will share how Rent has enhanced their property discovery experience using one of our newest products, the Aerial View API. At Google I.O., we announced new products, features, and capabilities that were highly requested by our developer community over the last few years. These new products help developers create immersive experiences, style geospatial data, build faster with GMP, and drive more flexible routes. First, let's talk about the new features that help developers visualize and style their geospatial data. We'll start with the preview release of data-driven styling for datasets. Historically, Google Maps Platform has offered limited support for visualization and customization of third-party geospatial data. This meant slower map performance and more overhead when making critical business decisions with your maps. Now, with the preview release of data-driven styling for datasets, it's significantly easier to bring third-party data to your mapping application in a scalable and performant way. You can now import and store GeoJSON, KML, and CSV data to the Google Cloud Console. You can associate each data set with a map style and use data-driven styling to style and visualize points, lines, and polygons from the data set on a map. And you can use the Maps Datasets API to access the styled, cloud-hosted data set from your client so you can continue to manage and customize the data set from the cloud without having to change your client side implementation. In addition, we're now offering more access and ability to customize Google's map data with the general availability launch of data-driven styling for boundaries. With this release, you now have access to and can customize the same administrative boundaries, like polygons of countries and postal codes, that you see in Google's consumer maps. Since the preview release last September, we've seen our customers enable a wide range of use cases across industries like real estate, travel, government, healthcare, education, and more. For example, Realtors Property Resource, a US-based data platform built for real estate agents, uses data-driven styling to help agents easily visualize market trends in a map so they can better serve home buyers. Next, let's chat about a launch I know you've all been waiting for, the general availability launch of advanced markers. Until now, it's been hard to customize the look and feel of the markers you put on a map uh, while keeping map load times down and benefiting from critical functionality like collision management. But with advanced markers, you can easily create custom markers with your own glyphs, SVGs, or custom HTML and CSS, and implement them at scale while keeping your map super performant. During preview, we saw tons of customers use advanced markers to really flex on their brand. One great example is Rocket Entertainment, who used advanced markers to create an immersive maps experience for Los Angeles to celebrate Sir Elton John's final North American tour. One other theme of our launches at Google I.O was about improving the developer experience. One thing we've heard a lot is that it can be difficult to build a great map. There's a steep learning curve. A lot of you are fantastic developers, but advanced cartographic patterns may not be something that you encounter on a daily basis. And that's okay. You shouldn't have to be an expert cartographer just to build a great Google map. To help with this, we've announced the first Google-supported web components for Google Maps platform. Web components are W3C standard that allow developers to encapsulate whatever business logic and design you like into a custom and reusable HTML element. The best part is that you can pack a ton of functionality into just a few lines of code. First, we launched map and advanced marker web components to preview directly in the Maps JavaScript API. Second, we released an open source extended component library, which encapsulates common UI UX patterns, best practices, uh, and beautiful responsive design into a library of easily customizable web components, which are available on GitHub, UNPKG, and NPM. These web components make it easier to build and style your map and less expensive to maintain that code later. Over time, we'll be adding more components to the Maps JavaScript API and to the extended component library so you can do more things with less code. Last September, we announced the preview release of the new Routes API. At Google I.O. this year, we announced its general availability. Routes API builds on the foundational features of directions and distance matrix APIs that your business relies on, like comprehensive, up-to-date directions with real-time traffic. 
These APIs help with calculating distances and ETAs for origin and destination points, including larger matrix combinations. It also offers new advanced features so you can provide more informative, flexible routes and improved ETA accuracy, including two-wheel routes for motorized vehicles, tolls data, real-time traffic information along each segment of a route, eco-friendly routing, and more. We're excited to see how customers leverage these new capabilities to build best-in-class solutions for optimizing delivery and transportation across all industries. The next set of capabilities we launched focus on developing immersive maps experiences. We launched two new products to give you access to the same 3D map source used by Google Earth, so you can go beyond traditional maps and deliver immersive experiences of your own. The first, our experimental photorealistic 3D tiles allows developers to create next-gen immersive 3D visualization experiences directly in their apps. And secondly, Aerial View, which provides 3D cinematic videos of a place, landmark, or point of interest. Let's start with the experimental release of photorealistic 3D tiles available through the Map Tiles API. This new Geodata product offers a seamless 3D mesh model of the real world textured with our high resolution optical imagery available to you at scale. It's specifically designed for visualizations at block to city scale, so you can use photorealistic 3D tiles to create stunning immersive visualizations in over 2,500 cities across 49 countries today. Building real world 3D models can be labor and resource intensive. So our photorealistic 3D tiles takes this work off your plate by giving you access to one of the world's most comprehensive 3D maps. We've adopted the commonly used Open Geospatial Consortium's 3D tile standard created by Cesium. That means you can render our 3D map tiles with your own renderer or compatible renderers to GLTF uh, and visualization libraries like Cesium.js and DeckGL. Our 3D tiles align to our 2D maps so you can accurately overlay Google Maps platform data to enrich your visualizations. You can even overlay raster or vector data such as traffic models, view shed models, or land temperature to bring more realism and context to your maps. Next, we announced the preview release of Aerial View API, which offers access to cinematic videos of points of interest, again built with the same 3D map source used by Google Earth. With Aerial View, developers have a ready-to-use way to highlight places like hotels, attractions, and shops to help people better understand local context. Aerial View videos deliver stunning views from the sky to help create a sense of scale and perspective. It provides the neighborhood-level, top-down context of Google satellite imagery, while also providing the same building-level recognition as Street View. Aerial view videos can help engage your users by showing locations in exciting new ways. Managing image capture campaigns for aerial videos can be time consuming and expensive. So the aerial view API handles all of the heavy lifting like processing, storage, and delivery. So you can easily embed stunning videos directly into your websites or apps the same way that you would embed a YouTube video. Now I would like to introduce Nishant Fadness Chief Product Officer at Rent. We've been working closely with Nishant and his team over the past six months as one of our early trusted testers for Aerial View. Nishant, we're pleased to have you here to talk about your experiences with Aerial View. Thank you, Danby, and the rest of the Google Maps platform team. By way of quick introduction, my name is Nishant Fadnis, Chief Product Officer here at Rent. So, what is Rent? Rent is the leading provider of integrated marketing solutions to the multifamily and single family rental industry. Our mission is to simplify the experience of connecting people and properties. We do this by delivering integrated solutions that bring together the right renter with the right property at the right time. We are a two-sided marketing place that simplifies the entire renter experience. On one side, we service both renters looking for an, their ideal home and property owners and managers looking to fill their vacant units with their ideal resident. We are obsessed with the experience, aiming to directly at eliminating friction and building a more delightful experience for both renters and property owners. Why is this important? Why are we here? 
in the United States, 110 million residents rent. That's a third of the population. And for the 110 million renters, rent makes it easy to find their perfect place. What about the other side? We also serve property owners and managers to fill their vacant units. In fact, there's nearly 50 million rental units in the United States. We provide scaled marketing solutions that help advertisers with advertising their properties online and also helping them with scaled marketing solutions such as search engine and social media management, reputation management, and lead nurturing tools like Chatbot. At the center of Rent's platform lies our Rent Marketplace solution, a network of sites with visits from over 50 million home seekers every month. The network includes our flagship brand, Rent.com, along with Apartment Guide, Rentals.com, and Redfin. When including other syndication partners, our reach expands to nearly 350 million visits. That's a lot of people. And we talk to these renters and we get to know them and we want to know what their friction points are. We learn that the top two factors impacting renters' decisions to lease are naturally price, can I afford it, and location. It's really important that renters know where the property is and if they can afford it. At Rent, we leaned really heavily on location, and we are obsessed with providing as much detail about the location as possible. We launched dedicated neighborhood pages. We launched new sections last year specific to nearby stores, restaurants. We provided users with the ability to learn how easy or difficult it is to walk, ride a bike, catch the bus or train near the property. And of course, we leverage the power of Google Maps to showcase where the property is located on a map. In addition, we leaned in really heavily on Street View. Google provides this immense, great experience where renters can navigate the street of where the property is located. In fact, in a recent renter survey conducted by Rent, Google Maps Street View was considered the third most helpful feature behind automated tour scheduling and 3D tours. But we knew we could do more. Renters craved an immersive digital experience and location-based features was a key pillar to that experience. So when Google came to us and asked, hey, would you, be considered, would you consider adding a new feature? We were ecstatic and what that feature was, was aerial view a new 3D immersive experience from above. So let me show you how we introduced aerial view on rent.com. Here, you'll see a property located in Atlanta, Georgia. Right dead center in front of the renter is a CTA aerial view. And when they click on it, voila, this is what the property looks like from above. So as you can see, this property is located near a highway, not too far from Atlanta Midtown and downtown areas. Additionally, not far away are, is a park and greenery. This is an experience that renters never had before. This view is remarkable and it provides renters with the right amount of information from a different vantage point that allows them to now make better and informed decisions on whether this property is the best for them. So as you saw in that experience, one that we launched in February 2023 this year, we saw some incredible engagement numbers. In fact, over the past couple of months, renters told us through their behavior that Aerial View is a really great content and feature. It is proven to be the top five most utilized feature on the property detail page. Aerial View was a hit. 11% of those who clicked on it, clicked on it again and again signaling to us that this is a feature and content that renters really desired. When we talked to renters, they told us firsthand. Here's an example of what a recent renter quoted us. Quote, that's really valuable because you want to know exactly what's around the property, what it looks like. If there's any walking trails, that's a great feature. We also talked to our clients, those who owned and managed these properties. They told us that they loved it as well. In fact, here's a quote from a direct client of ours. Quote, this is a great addition. I like it 
it easily showcases what the surrounding area looks like, its proximity to important landmarks, freeway, residential, retail, and the overall neighborhood feel. So what's next? Mapping and location services are a critical part of connecting renters and property managers and a strategic part of the rent experience. We're excited to continue investing in the map experience on rent, in particular with more immersive 3D and local discovery experiences. And it was a great pleasure working with the Google Maps platform team to launch Aerial View and looking forward to more great experiences we can introduce to renters in the future. With that, I'll turn it back to Matt. Thanks, Nishant. It was great to hear how Rent is using the Aerial View API to provide insights to renters while also helping property managers rent properties faster. We hope you're able to get a sense of all the new products and features we launched at Google I.O. and how you can start using these capabilities today. To learn more about what we covered, you can visit our website or access these new features directly through the Google Cloud Console. You can also watch the Google I.O. technical sessions on demand on the Google I.O. website to get an even deeper dive into these capabilities. Thanks for joining us, and as always, happy mapping. <laughs> <laughs>